The Adventures of Frankie the Fire Dog, Frankie Meets the Hoppies by Joanne Mankell and Sarah Baker. It was a busy morning at the fire station and Frankie the Fire Dog had an important visit to attend. Would you like to come with me, Martha? said Frankie. Yes, of course I would, said Martha. Frankie and Martha parked the fire engine outside the house when a small rabbit came bouncing towards them at full speed. Hello, why are you here? Is there a fire? Hello, no, don't worry, there's no fire here. We've come to help you and your family to keep safe, to stop a fire from happening, explained Frankie. Harry, come back inside, shouted his mum. You know you're not allowed out of the garden on your own. Hello. I'm Nora Hoppy. It's nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Frankie and this is Martha. We're from the fire service. I live here, said Harry, with my mum, Granny, Elsie, Grandad George and all my brothers and sisters. It's a very busy home. There's a lot of us, agreed Nora. Please come in. Martha said, Harry, do you know where your smoke alarms are? Yes, they're outside my bedroom, said Harry leaping up to the stairs to show Martha. Martha handed Harry a long red stick and showed him how to test the alarm. Press the big button in the middle, Harry. Wow, that's noisy. It's hurting my ears, shouted Harry. That's good. It will wake you up when you're sleeping. That's the sound that tells you when your smoke alarm is working and it's keeping you safe, explained Martha. Shall we test the other one? Harry bounced down the stairs to test the smoke alarm in the hall. Look, said Harry, this alarm is broken. It is. The batteries have been taken out. How's that going to wake you up if there is a fire? We need to replace it straight away. In the living room, Nora was talking to Frankie about how to escape if there was a fire. All of the children know to meet everyone on the landing so that we can all get out together, she said. I always shut the doors downstairs before we go to bed and the door keys hang on the hook over there, she pointed. That is brilliant, said Frankie. Just what we would ask you to do. But look, Nora, you've left your lighter on the coffee table. You must make sure that you put them out of reach of children. Nora immediately picked up the lighter and put it in her pocket. Sorry, Frankie. I'll be more careful from now on. Both the smoke alarms work perfectly now, Mum, shouted Harry, bouncing into the living room. That's very good news, Harry, said Frankie. Now, how would you feel about being the smoke alarm tester? It's a very important job. All you need to do is test the smoke alarms once a week to make sure they're working. This will help to keep your family safe as working smoke alarms let you know if there's any smoke in your home. But please don't call 999 if it is just Granny burning the toast, giggled Martha. Can you remember what you need to do if the smoke alarm goes beep, beep, beep? asked Martha. Yes, said Harry. If we hear the noise, we need to get out, stay out, call 999 and ask for the fire service. That's right, Harry. Well done, said Martha. It's important to keep the doorways clear and tidy so you can get out in an emergency. The firefighters need to get in quickly without falling over your bike. Harry, explained Frankie. Granny and Grandad will need more time to get out too. We don't want them falling over your toys. They're not as bouncy as you are. Harry looked at his mum. You always tell us to tidy our toys away, don't you? Yes, and now you know why, laughed Nora. Harry ran off to clear up his toys and move his bike. Thank you for coming to see us. I shall remember what you said about the lighters and maybe my children will tidy away their toys from now on, said Nora. Fantastic. Keep up the good work, said Frankie, waving to Harry and his family. Bye everyone, said Martha. Harry was still waving long after the fire engine left the street. Fire safety checklist. Do not play with lighters or matches. Tell a grown-up if you see them. Test your smoke alarms once a week. 
Keep your doorways clear and tidy so that you can get out safely if there is a fire. If there is a fire, get out, stay out and call 999 and ask for the fire service.